So yeah, I do not only use my own brain. That's the curse of this kind of information age. All of these interlinked ideas. If you want to live this life, not just as a consumer of information impacted by whatever everyone else says, but you actually want to create something of your own. I wanted to show you in practice how I might go about using my second brain. Hello, today we're getting some continuity to my productivity vlog series. I wanted to speak about something that I really think is kind of next level genius stuff and that is building a second brain. I'm gonna actually show the exact system how i build mine in the app called notion so you know that feeling when uh, you have to fetch information from somewhere maybe you need to go back to a whatsapp conversation scroll 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 find where something was talked about look for a certain notebook where you wrote down an idea your computer files are a mess technically there is this information that you may have captured or maybe you didn't even do that but everything is a mess like you can't really really access what you need to. Maybe you're missing deadlines, you're even forgetting things, and you certainly are not really able to develop something kind of original in your own thinking. I guess that's the curse of this kind of information age when we are bombarded by all kinds of information all the time and our brains really have a hard time keeping up with what is actually important and where it should be stored. But on the other hand, this modern age does offer us the opportunity to capture and store and process information in a way that has not been possible before and there are free tools to do that. A second brain is an extension of your own brain. So yeah, I do not only use my own brain to take care of my job, my YouTube channel, my all other interests and pursuits and projects in life. I have an extended digital version. Digital is the key here because it being digital offers the opportunity to access it with any device from anywhere I am, as long as I have internet connection, as well as uh, search things. <laughs> I actually used to be a huge nerd growing up and once I was reading a physical book and you know I was trying to find some information like uh, with the control F function, <laughs> uh, the search function and yeah obviously it does not work with physical books as much as teenage me wanted it to but uh, digitally it does work and it's way easier to find the information later. The idea with second brain is that you capture all information in the same place. You build these systems that all kinds of information that you gather, be it a course you've studied, contact information you need to remember, a recipe, literally anything that is relevant for you, you build systems and you connect that information to the things that you actually do in life. So maybe you've read two separate books and there's two separate ideas there. You make that link in your head, you make that connection. When I put this point A and point B together, there's a new idea that is original thinking. With second brain, you have the ability to track all of these interlinked ideas. This is the beauty of it. Like. If you want to live this life not just as a consumer of information, being, you know, impacted by whatever everyone else says, but you actually want to create something of your own, be it a business, be it an essay, be it a YouTube video, you need to develop a little bit of your own thinking. And if you are not able to capture your own notes and own thoughts, how are you going to develop that? You're just gonna be repeating one phrase here, one phrase there without building on it. You get what I mean? I use Notion pretty much for everything in my life. I do my goal setting, my task management, my meal planning, my YouTube workflow, like everything's here. And for me, having a functioning life management system, one that works for you, be it Notion, be it something else, for me, Notion works really well. I feel like it really adds to my life. It really helps me be productive and get things done. And I also like how Notion is so flexible. Like I've just made my front page very, you know, simple and visually pleasing like this. This. 
so yeah there's also the aesthetic that i enjoy let me show you exactly how i build my own second brain on notion by the way i do have a notion affiliate link that you can use to join you can get quite far with notion even for free so definitely check it out here we have my home page i have a couple of links for the pages that i often frequent i've added my quarterly vision boards here and then i have a task list that is filter to show this week's tasks and in fact I am almost done with filming this video so I can tick this off and as you can see it goes away from the list. In the task list I have a date for the task, a priority, a goal that it is attached to and I recently added this tick like if this is a thing that can be done quickly maybe on my phone when I'm out and about and have to I don't know wait for somebody so that I can just tick off these quick tasks. And then I have reminders of what belongs to my uh, morning, evening and weekend routines. I already explained my 12 week year goal setting and task management system in another productivity vlog, but I'm going to go through it very quickly. So here we have the goal that the task is related to. And here, as you can see, most of these goals, they are related to an area of my life, which I will show you soon. I've already been planning my quarter two goals. Uh, there's YouTube goals, fitness routine goals and Kiswahili learning goals. And under these goals I have broken the goals down to different strategies. Fitness routine, we have uh, gym, dance and mobility related goals. And then I went even further and broken these strategies down to task lists week by week for the entire three months. I am currently in the process of uh, taking these uh, weekly tasks to my task dashboard. This is the full task dashboard. Basically, I add any type of tasks related to either my goals or just like general admin task here. Then we get to the interesting second brain part. I have this page called areas which has multiple pages and these are all the areas of my life that are either about things that I need to maintain like I need to eat so I have my meal planning system here I have my workout home maintenance related things I have my shopping list but then I also have things like my YouTube channel here Chinese and Swahili languages that I am learning and then the rest of the pages are actually just areas of life that I'm interested in so I'm interested in relationships right I'm interested in mental health uh, non-toxic lifestyle uh, shadow work nervous system herbalism digital business international lifestyle productivity philosophy and these pages are pages that I use as my kind of note-taking pages let's take cycle syncing so if you don't know cycle syncing is something for menstruating women for them to kind of balance out their lifestyle such as nutrition fitness uh, productivity things according to different phases in their cycle and this is a topic i'm interested in you can see that i have a ton of notes here but not only that this is where the interconnectedness, the web of different things comes into play. So cycle syncing, it relates to also other areas. So it relates to meals, workouts, health. I also have linked some quotes that I have captured from somewhere that I feel like relate to this area. So let's go to this quote. The quote is that the current perpetual productivity model, for example in agriculture, this would be continuous harvest, maximum outputs, toxic fertilizers, da da da, all that jazz. It's damaging to the environment, right? It makes us sick. And in the same way, we are obsessed with this constant productivity and especially for women, you know, who have cycles and their body literally functions in a different manner in different phases of a month. This is not very sustainable. This quote, you see, I have linked it to several areas, not only cycle syncing, but also health and also regeneration. And regeneration is something more related to the nature. So not only being sustainable, but actually 
re regenerating, rejuvenating the nature, like trying to maybe make the soil even better, even more fertile through the farming. So you can see here how things start to link with each other, right? I have uh, linked several books here. We can go to the area of uh, my commonplace book. And commonplace books are quite an interesting concept. They used to be used maybe like housewives in the past who were capturing I don't know, poems, recipes, whatever really they were interested in. And they were these books that were categorized by all these different interests. And uh, of course, the digital tools give us a way more robust system to do that. In my commonplace book, I have all these quotes. So you see, that was not the only quote that I've stored. I have plenty of quotes. You know, if I come across a really interesting idea or quote, I just put it here and I link it to some area. I always try to find an area to link it to. And if there is no area, then I probably create a new area because it seems to be an interest in my life. So let's say shadow work is something that I'm interested in. Here I see a quote. Thank your past harmful behavior for the purpose it had, but say goodbye to it as it is no longer needed. I have my own shadow work journal if you're interested in the concept, but um, I'll link that down below as well. But yeah, you see there's plenty of quotes and then I can of course filter them according to the area. So the other things here in my commonplace book uh, is these bookmarks. So I have plenty, plenty of different kinds of books, courses, podcasts, uh, web pages, different kinds of resources that I am interested in. There is a book I'm currently reading called Everyday Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is like an African philosophy of like togetherness and community. So I've linked it to the area of philosophy. When I am done with the book, I will actually record the book notes here. And the same thing with this book. I'm not only going to read this book, I am going to make books notes in this system of mine so that if I ever want to talk more about health, cognitive function, productivity, all those things, those areas will be linked to this book and I will be able to find the book notes there. Nothing escapes <laughs> this system. Herbalism is something that I am very interested in, but I haven't really, you can even see in my areas if we go there, herbalism you can see there's not a lot of notes here i have all these different bookmarks you see like almost 20 19 different bookmarks that i have linked here so i have a lot of resources that i can tap into whenever i have time in addition to this commonplace book i do have this other resources tab that basically stores some uh, university courses, my coaching certification, by the way, you can book coaching down below if you're interested. For example, if you want to be coached in building your own second brain, again, you can see they are linked to different areas. So regeneration, as I mentioned, next level sustainability thinking, that is linked to a course that I took in the uni called Leadership for Sustainable Change because we spoke a lot about regeneration there. And then I have some really, really random things here in the resources, such as a list of karaoke songs that I can sing because I've been in a situation in karaoke a couple of times when I wanted to sing something and I just could not come up with anything that I can sing. So I just created this page so that I, you know, if I'm in the bar and like I can just take my phone and go to Notion, Notion also comes with a very well-functioning um, mobile app. Very quickly, I want to show a couple of pages. So I have my meal planning system here. I have recorded, I actually need to update this, but I have my menstrual faces and I have a list of recipes. And all these recipes, they are under one of the four menstrual phases. And let's take tuna mayo sandwich, for example. It's in ovulatory phase, I eat it as lunch. And here are all the different ingredients that I need to make it. This is a very, very simple recipe. So I haven't made any, you know, recipe notes for it, but I could if I wanted to. This system actually, it's very powerful. I could even make shopping lists based on uh, what ingredients I do or do not have in my pantry. And then another one, is Aina Lua, my channel. So here I have some actions, content buckets, some other random notes. 
but this is my video planning database. So I have all these video ideas here when I'm planning to publish them. I have the status. Is it an idea? Am I writing, filming, editing or is the video done? And again, this is filtered by only the ones that are not done yet. I didn't make a lot of notes for this video, but here is brain dump. Here I can do planning for the title and thumbnail. If I have any monetization ideas, I can track them here. And some videos I do script. This video I did not, so here I would write the script. I'm actually going to link my uh, Notion Second Brain template down below for a very affordable price if it's something you want to use. You can either use mine or someone else's ready-made template or you could actually start building your own from scratch. And it might seem like a very daunting task, but you know, when you start small and build bit by bit, then every part of your system is going to serve a purpose specifically for you. So if my template looks complicated, it's because you didn't build it, you know? Everything is there for a reason because I needed it, but I just wanted to offer you that option if you're interested. I wanted to show you in practice how I might go about using my second brain because I have some homework to do. I'm going to EMDR therapy these days. The therapist wanted me to check out a video to understand how the process works. Okay, see, I took a print screen. I'm gonna look up my mental health section. I'm just gonna copy paste the, this picture here because this is something I wanna remember. Uh, EDMR therapy aims to calm down the limbic system. That was one key takeaway. Well, that was interesting. Now, what I would do, I would go clean up those notes. And then when I learn more about the topic, I would just um, add to that same note. I did already do a book giveaway in a previous vlog and this will be the book giveaway for this video. I would be happy to send this to one of the people who comment down below, but I do want to know what productivity challenges you are, you know, struggling with. What would you like more help with? That will give me my next video ideas. So comment that down below. And if you want me to send this book to you within Nairobi, and uh, I'll do a raffle if there's more than one commenter. It's all about building a better brain. It does focus a little bit on, you know, cognitive functional decline, like, you know, Alzheimer's, dementia, but not only that, this is good for literally anybody. The writer does give quite holistic perspective on how to keep your brain healthy with healthy lifestyle. And uh, yeah, how to build resilience also for your brain. And you know, I'm all about that, you know, also mental health and resilience kind of stuff. I'm actually going to be sending this book in uh, this very sturdy, very well built tote bag. Uh, this was sent to me by Pogna Martin. He has all these bags and different products with also all kinds of different designs. This happens to be the plain one. So um, you can check out his Instagram. I'm gonna drop the contact down below if you're interested in a nice tote bag. Do not forget to use my link to get Notion if you're interested in using this system. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one. Bye!